AKAMISBOX.com. Hey, AKA Amos, I'll let your motherfucking boy. So I'm talking about Adrian Broner versus Mikey Garcia, man. I'm talking about this fight, man. Um, And um, this fight was, uh, you know, I, this is my second video talking about this, you know. First fight, I kind of explained my piece, you know what I mean? But this one, I kind of want to go a little bit more into detail, you know. Um, I think Mikey Garcia uh, really did his homework. He really did his homework on Adrian Broner, okay? Um, not that there was a lot of homework to do, but he really did his homework. He he saw exactly what Adrian Broner's weaknesses was and exploited those weaknesses, Okay. Um, Pauly Malinaji was talking about this a lot in the, um, in the commentary. He was talking about how, when he was fighting Adrian Broner, every time he would throw a punch, he would notice that Adrian Broner wouldn't punch back. Adrian Broner wouldn't return fire. He doesn't need an exchange. Okay. If you're punching him, he's literally going to stop what he's doing. Okay. And Mikey Garcia utilized that to the fullest. Um, every time AG saw Adrian Broner getting ready to attack in attack mode, he would just throw a combination of punches and be busy. He kind of used like a poly, the poly Malinaji approach, really. You know what I mean? You would give him some angles. Okay. He would, every time he would throw punches, he would force Adrian Broner to reset. You know what I mean? He would give Adrian Broner a bunch of feints. All right. Throwing off his counter punching ability. He would just he, would, he was just doing a bunch of different things to neutralize Broner. OK, he completely and utterly neutralized Broner and the game, the, the blueprint for beating Broner is out there now. I mean, Mikey Garcia, I mean, it was out there before, but now it's really out there. Mikey Garcia completely exploited this man as far as his weaknesses. Oh, man. Oh, man. He, people know that they, they know the remedy now. They know it's out there. Uh, it's going to be rough. It's going to be real tough for Adrian Broner uh, to be anyone worth a goddamn at this point. You know what I mean? Because people are going to know exactly what to do to beat this man. You know, um, I know a lot of people are going to be mad with Adrian Broner. A lot of people are going to be talking shit about Adrian Broner. You know what I mean? Adrian Broner talks a lot of shit and I get it um, to a certain extent because some of it is racism. Um, but, you know, I think Adrian Broner, I think he brought us all. I think he trained hard. I, th I saw the hunger in his eyes. I saw him wanting to do well in this fight. I saw Adrian Broner. I saw one of the best Adrian Broners that I've seen in a long time in this fight versus Mikey Garcia. I know a lot of people aren't going to give him props for that, um, but you should. Adrian Broner was, Adrian Broner came to fight last night. He did. You know, I give him the utmost respect. He did what he was supposed to do coming into this fight you know what i mean but mikey garcia just proved that he's a he's a class above him you know what i mean as far as um not, not even not even necessarily skill wise but his boxing in intelligence you know what i mean he proved that he had a much better boxing iq than adrian proner and studied up and did what he needed to do to win a fight you know what i mean and win it convincingly convincingly this fight wasn't even close you know what I mean? What wasn't close at all. Mikey landed the combinations. He landed the cleaner, more effective punches throughout the entirety of the fight. Um, you know, no matter what Adrian Broner decided he was going to do, Mikey had an answer for it. Okay, in the first round, uh, Adrian Broner comes out. All right, he's he's you know he's kind of filling him out. He's a little slick. He you know you know a couple jabs. He's landed some good jabs. And one thing about Adrian Broner, Adrian Broner has a really good jab, but he's not consistent enough with that jab. You got to keep that jab pumping. Keep it pumping. Because Mikey Garcia wasn't counterpunching that jab. He wasn't throwing any anything over that jab, so why not keep it pumping out there until he shows you something. But you know Adrian Broner, he's throwing one punch at a time. And I think he kind of won that first round, but you know, after that Mikey Garcia kind of stepped it up in the in the next round, you know. Uh Mixing up fainting real well. And, and you know, and, and I said this in my live reaction video. Adrian Broner, man, uh, he's like, you, you know, in basketball, I don't know how many of y'all play like street ball, but when you play like street ball, it's different kinds of like players out there. You'll see like these, the, it'll be like some of these dudes and they'll be playing and, you know, Instead of them just laying the ball up, they got to lay the ball up, put it under their legs, turn around, do all this silly, goofy shit, and then miss the layup. Everybody, you know, like one of those kind of guys. You know what I mean? It's like it doesn't have to be a home run every time, Adrian. And I kind of felt like, you know, the beginning parts of this fight. Adrian Broner was trying to land like home runs, like these flashy home run kind of punches. When really all he needed to do was just be a little more active. 
You know what I mean? A little bit more active. And that would have put him in a better position in this fight to me. I, I, I don't think he would have won because I think that Mikey Garcia, to me, was just that much better in this fight. I think that he was just like he was just prepared. He was prepared for whatever Adrian Broner brought to the table. And it showed in this fight. Um, shit. Um, you know, anyway, so like round three on Mikey Garcia pretty much controls the fight. Um, and, and during the course of that, I'm thinking in my head, why doesn't Adrian Broner start getting more aggressive? Why didn't he start, you know, fighting like how he fought at 130 and 135? Mark, Mikey's the much smaller guy. I'm like, why don't, why don't he, why doesn't he just do that? Why don't he just act on that? And I mean, you know. And then, I, sure enough, I think it was like round eight, round nine, Adrian Broner decides that he's going to, you know, he's going to use that approach. He puts up that high guard. And the high guard is way too high, by the way, because the high guard has his body completely and utterly exposed. And and this is another thing that the Garcias exploited because they saw that that high guard is so incredibly high and that it leaves his body open. So every time he would put that high guard up, they would chop his ass down to the body, which was which was such good boxing. Such good boxing, you know what I mean? Such such a high-level boxing IQ, you know what I mean? It's there, though, you know? It's there, you know? It's, it, you know, even though that shows Mikey Garcia's boxing IQ, it was there for the plucking. Like, right there, his body was right there exposed, you know what I mean? So, he put up the high guard, and, you know what I mean, Mikey would kind of dig to the body a little bit. But Adrian Broner, I think it was like round nine. He had a real good round nine. He was being aggressive. He started pressing the attack more, and he landed some good punches, you know what I mean, on Garcia. And you could tell Garcia felt those shots, you know what I mean? And um, he felt them. But you know what? On the flip side, Mikey Garcia took those punches really well, you know what I mean? He kind of took those punches and kind of kept it kept it pushing i don't know if he was acting or what but it looked to me like he took those punches really well which tells me that mikey garcia is a very sturdy guy he probably can make a move up to 147 pounds and do pretty well like i don't i don't know about him fighting earl spencer any of those guys but you know possibly maybe that second tier uh type fighter you know what i mean and, and doing pretty well at least at first you know i don't know i don't know he probably do well at 147 who, who knows who knows i don't know about spence and and, and, and Thurman and all that, but, but who knows, who knows, anyway, that's a whole other conversation, but anyway, so, you know, um, I think it's like round nine, you know what I mean, and he Broner does well, and then after that, uh, Mikey Garcia kind of takes over the fight, he kind of takes over, um, the, he kind of takes everything over at that point, you know, uh, just outworking him, you know, doing little things here and there to kind of neutralize Broner, and then, it kind of cruises to the unanimous decision, man. And, you know, what more can you really say? What more can you really say about this? You know, uh, you can't do anything but give props to Mikey Garcia. He came prepared. Uh, he came ready to win the fight. He came for any version of Adrian Broner that came tonight. And, you know, he proved himself. He proved himself. A lot of people uh, question who Mikey Garcia has fought in the past. You know what I mean? But, you know, no matter what your argument was for Mikey Garcia not having a, a resume prior to Adrian Broner, he'd just be Adrian Broner, which to me kind of solidifies him, at least, at, you know, to a certain extent, because we know that Adrian Broner, in a sense, is limited. But, you know, I, I'm not ain't gonna be no backtracking around this bitch. We know that a Adrian Broner, for the most part, was a top tier fighter. You know what I mean? So by or Mikey Garcia beating adrian broner we're not gonna take no credit away from mikey garcia mikey garcia proved himself tonight and this was a really really um entertaining fight while it lasted um i'm gonna do another video after this one man just kind of talking about what's next for both fighters and all that uh the aftermath and all that old shit um and then i'll talk about some other stuff but whatever but anyway let me know what you guys think hit it up in the, in the comment section below you can also let me up on twitter box capital x or capital x dot you can hit me up on facebook box minus sign or minus sign dot like the video subscribe all that bullshit. But until next time, it's your buddy Dynamite signing out. Holla at your motherfucking boy.